does he think he is? Taking over your bedroom. Shouting orders. Forcing us to sneak around like criminals in our own home. Relax, Marta. Right after I poisoned that arrogant little toad. Two drops in his ear while he sleeps? Problem over. Well, first things first. Let me deal with Sancho. Then we'll talk about the ambassador. You know they'll be expecting you. Aren't they always? Your display on the beach this morning. Capturing the traitor. Mm. Very impressive. Piece of cake. She'd see me with the Ruiz brothers, and that would prime. A sight to behold, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, get this. There was these three guys. Armed to the teeth, right? Guns, knives, swords, everything you can think of. And all I got is one shot. An epic triumph. I'd expect nothing less from such a fine soldier. Hmm. Yeah, it's raw talent, that's all. I could use a man of your considerable skill. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, I heard women in Madrid are... are Quite extraordinary. But my interests are much more immediate. You mean here in Santa Elena? They call this place the new world for a reason. Here, many things are possible. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? Well, just off the top of my head. A masked woman makes a mockery of the king's army. A colonel is recalled in disgrace. A new commander takes over. And a gringo capitan becomes a major. What would you say to that? I would say long live the king and his representative. Spoken like a true patriot. Mm -hmm. Come on, there must be some. Something? Said, go away. But I don't understand. Duff, well, you must have known you'd get caught. Maybe. Well, that or you're the dumbest bastard this side of Monterey. The interview's over. And don't you want the world to know that you're dying for your queen? I'll give you something to tell the world. Come closer. Closer, please. I don't want the cat to hear. The world to mind its own business. Oh. Do you think she will circle around and give you another shot? I suggest that you follow her. Now! Saddle up! Something amusing, Ambassador? A private joke. The Queen has just escaped with the prisoner. I failed to see the humor in that. That is because you only see and understand the obvious. Yes. And it is obvious to me that the Queen has ruined your plan. On the contrary. Everything is proceeding accordingly. As we speak, the Queen of Swords is racing to her death. You're in my town now, Ambassador. I expect to be apprised of everything. I'm here on the King's business. I answer to no one but him. Might I remind you that the King is a long way from Alta California. 
Are you threatening me? Heaven forbid. There's no reason for us to be enemies. After all, I've done you a favor. My backup plan. We would have been left once again. With your garrison's abject failure. Now, at least, I will have the Queen's head. Let us not forget the gratitude of the King. Yes, there is that too. in California. Hot, dry, dusty, not enough bars, not enough women. I cannot do anything about the weather, but I might be able to address the other issues. A bribe? A gift. And in return? A little information. For example, how is it that the ambassador and the king are such close friends? Maybe they're not so close. Ah, suspense. The hallmark? Of a fine wordsmith. Caramelita is looking restless. Okay, okay. Rumor has it Ramirez is a pauper. He lost his family's fortune. Tragic. Luckily, his wife's second cousin has the king's ear and other parts of his anatomy. <laughs> but why is Ramirez so interested in the Queen of Souls? A reward. So oh, he's just a mercenary after all. Don't we all have a price? I know Grisham. He's bound to double back. You're shot. I live. It's a five days hard ride to Mexico. I've got friends camped nearby. They'll help me. Friends? Yeah. From my village. 